Zero, whose real name is Joseph Wayne McVeigh, the fourth, is an American rapper from Houston, Texas. He was named one of America's most underrated rappers by the New York Times in 2007. Zero has an estimated net worth of $10 million. Zero's Early Life Zero was born on January 19, 1977, in Houston's South Park neighborhood. When he was six, his mother died, and he was shuttled from household to household in search of stability, eventually settling in the Ridgemont area, a middle-class neighborhood in southwest Houston, near the suburb of Missouri City. When Zero reached his late teens, he was unemployed and resorted to drug dealing and hustling on the streets. According to Zero, listening to the music of Tupac, Ghetto Boys, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Street Military, K Rhino, and Klondike Cat inspired him to work harder for his goal of leaving the streets. Fortunately, Zero discovered his talent of freestyle rapping, and after going through a couple of recording studios to make a demo, the CEO of a local label discovered him and signed him. Zero's Personal Life Zero remains relatively private when it comes to his personal life, but a source reveals that he dated just Brittany. Besides that, on July 26th of 2017, Zero was arrested after his ex-girlfriend, Just Brittany, accused him of beating her three months earlier. Later, Zero told the media that Brittany was using the accusations to get more publicity for herself, as she was also appearing in a reality show on television. On October 10th, a grand jury dropped the felony charges. The next day, in Harris County, Texas, District Attorney filed misdemeanor charges against Zero on the same alleged incident. Zero's Professional Career Zero began his music career with his critically acclaimed Rap A Lot debut titled The Life of Joseph W. McVeigh. The record was a huge success and helped expand Zero's fan base beyond the South. In 2005, Zero released Let the Truth Be Told, which was well received. In 2006, Zero's album I'm Still Livin' was released while he was in prison for drug possession. The album was called Great and Powerful, but relentlessly bleak by the Village Voice. In 2010, he released the album titled Heroin, which was followed by an album titled Meth in 2011, and later Angel Dust in 2012. On August 25, 2013, Zero released his first EP under the Mo City Don titled Tripolar via One Deep Ent. Zero then followed up The Crown in June 2014. In February 2015, Zero released his first proper studio album in three years titled Melting The Crown. In 2016, Zero released Drinking and Driving and Legendary in November under his label One Deep Entertainment. In 2017, Zero announced he was retiring and released No Love Boulevard in June as his final album. But later, Zero came out of retirement of six months and released Codeine in December. In 2018, Zero released Sadism under One Deep Entertainment and was distributed by Empire. Later, Zero released an EP titled Quarantine. The Social Distancing EP featured appearances of rapper Boozy Badass, Slim Thug, Landlord, and late rapper Wicked Cricket. On June 26th, Zero released an album titled Rohamed Ali. In 2021, Zero along with SUC rapper Mike D released a collaboration album titled To The Hard Way, with appearances from Slim Thug, Lil Kiki, Beans, Beans and Cornbread, Klondike Cat, Grace from Grace Boys, Duke Getta, Otisha Redmond, C Note, Big Pokey, and Lil O. Besides that, in 2022, in a statement to XXL, Zero claims Trey the Truth asked to talk to him outside a Houston restaurant before he allegedly punched him. In conclusion, rapper Zero owns cars like a Chrysler 300, Bentley, a minivan, among others. He also owns a home in Houston worth $1.5 million. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.